The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. To the presentation, feel free to raise your hands um, and we'll do our best to answer them. Um, the first thing, many of you, if, if you've got a small business up and going already, which many of you do, you've thought about this already, but you may not, uh, you may not have come to the right conclusion. What, what we tell you may, may change the conclusion you came to, but what I want, want to talk about first is entity selection. Um, you know, if you just start up a business and start uh, selling your widgets on the street, uh, you're doing that as a sole proprietor. If you do that with a buddy without doing anything legal at all, you're doing that as a partnership. Uh, those are probably the two worst business entities you can be. Um, and there's a lot of different options uh, for business entities, but there's really only about two correct choices. And those are LLCs and S-Corps that I would recommend anyway. And if you talk to accountants and lawyers, um, you're going to get 50% of the time they'll say be an LLC, 50% of the time they'll be an S-Corp. Uh, I have my opinion on it, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you that it's S-Corp, um, but that's with the caveat that you need to talk to your accountant and figure out, you know, based on what your income is, whether S-Corp makes sense for you. So I'm going to quickly go down kind of the list of considerations you need to, to consider when choosing your business entity, and to go through all the different options and tell you why, why I like S-Corps. Um, the, you know, the, the, the first, the big three things you got to worry about are liability protection, um, corporate formalities, and taxation. And the, uh, the main reason people incorporate is for liability protection. Because if you're a corporation or an LLC or sometimes a, an LLP, you get, um, if you sign a contract as a business or your business incurs debt or liability, you can't help be be held personal, excuse me, personally liable for that liability. Um, so if someone can sue the business, the business can go under, and you're not going to lose your house. So that's kind of why people start thinking about entity selection. Um, the other thing you want to think about is corporate formality. Some of these entities have, uh, they require you to do more in order to run your business. For example, corporations and S-Corps, um, C-Corps and S-Corps, require you to jump through a lot of hoops to make major, major business changes um, or ma major decisions and they require you to maintain a corporate book. Uh, if, you've got, if you are wondering what exactly you've got to do to jump through those hoops, I left a blog article in, uh, in the folder and so you can kind of read through that on your own. The last thing you want to think about and one of the other really important things is taxation. And there's two sides to that coin and you know, I'm sure Dee will talk about this in a little bit more detail. But uh, your business can be taxed on two taxes, income tax and self-employment tax, if you're, if you're employed within your own business. Um, so we're, what we're trying to do is protect you from personal liability with the least amount of corporate formality while saving you the most in taxes. And what the choice is ultimately going to come down to is do you want to deal with more corporate formality in order to save on taxes? Or would you prefer a more flexible system but have to pay a little bit more in taxes? So let's go through the different, uh, the different entities. Like I said, sole proprietorships and partnerships are bad. Um, because, it, and I've got a pros and cons li list here. The pros of sole proprietorships and partnerships is that there are really no corporate formalities required. And like everything but a corporation, uh, C-Corp, you're taxed only once. So your income tax is what you personally make. The cons, no liability protection. So if your business goes down, you go down with it. Um, also, you're, you're hit badly with self-employment tax. And I'm going to explain self-employment tax quickly here. This is, this is kind of a big important thing, and, and this is maybe another thing that Dee wants to talk about a little bit more. The self-employment tax, for all entities except for corporations, C-Corps and S-Corps, uh, in addition to income tax, if you work within your business, you're taxed self-employment tax on your gross pop profit, so that's everything your business makes, and that's an LLC as well. If you're an S-Corp or a C-Corp, you kind of get around that because you're only taxed on your salary and you keep the rest of your profits free of that self-employment tax. So we're trying to, trying to save, you're, you're still taxed on it, but you're taxed on just what you make as salary, not on the total profits of the corporation. So that's why I like S-Corps. So moving along, the, you're, you're, as a partnership or a sole proprietor, you're taxed on everything, and that's bad. So we don't, we don't like sole proprietorships and partnerships. C-corporations, those are no good either, 
because while they give you liability protection um, and, and they do uh, give you the self-employment tax benefits, they require a lot of corporate formalities. And here's the big kicker, you're taxed twice. So you're taxed income tax-wise on the corporate level. The, the corporation is taxed on its income, and then when you get a distribution from the corporation, you're, uh, you're taxed on that distribution as well. Um, so that rules them out from the equation for my recommendations. Um, limited liability company. This is the other thing that people, other than S corps, that people recommend you want to think about. Uh, pros are liability protection, just like in another corporation. Uh, income is taxed only once, and this is better than a C corp because it's called pass-through taxation. The your income tax is taxed as you as a person, not as a shareholder, and then as a person. So that's good. Um, it's got less corporate formalities than an S corp. So you can be a lot more flexible with how you run your business with an LLC than you can with an S-Corp. So that's what a lot of people like about it. The cons is, it, like we talked about, that self-employment tax. Unlike an S-Corp, you're taxed on the gross profits of your, uh, your company. And so you can pay yourself a low salary, and, but you're still taxed on the salary plus profits. So that's bad. So, uh, you know, S-Corps, the, the only real con is that it, it requires... Um, a lot of the same corporate formalities that a C Corp does. You've got to keep books, you've got to call meetings for major decisions, but what you get out of it is maybe if you're making the right amount of income, and hopefully Dee can shed some light on this, you save a little bit on self-employment tax. So you make a money versus pain in the butt sort of decision. Um, and you know, it, for my business, I made the money decision, and I'm willing to put up with a little bit of a hassle to save on self-employment tax. Um, I'm going to say a little bit more here. Um, well, did you want to talk about entity selection at all? Look. All right. For my, uh, before I get hoarse. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.